Hi Leo, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's Mianessa from the Inner Serio. This is going to be your love messages as a general reading, so the roles might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Leo, it's going to be a you versus system format. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it we're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Okay, Leo, your current energy, you have the Temperance, you have the Ten of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles, and you also have the Nine of Pentacles in upright position. I feel that at this present moment, there was like a lot of things that you can take away as a lessons from, from all of the hurt that you've been through, from all of the pain that you've been through, etc. And I feel that at this present moment, although you're still grappling about how it is that I could move away from this pain, how could I, how it is that I could stop feeling this type of pain anymore, but I feel that little by little, brick by brick, there is a room for self-love here that you guys are doing, which I love. I feel that most of you at this present moment is focusing a lot more on building your wealth, building your finances, and being much more independent, especially when it comes to practically speaking. If you've always been dependent on another person to do things for you, I feel that you're going to take your independence back here. One of your biggest challenges here is you have the three of wands and you also have the hierophant in that preposition. I feel that relationship at this present moment is kind of like quite in a challenging position. And one of the things of why it is so challenging has a lot to do with both of you are not really after the same thing. The What commitment looks like to you is very different than what commitment looks like to them. Now, you might be wondering, how is that possible? How can commitment differ from people to people? But it is like that, you know what I mean? There are people out there who, can, who thinks that commitment is all about who I commit to when it comes to practical things, who, is, who I'm building a house with, who I'm having children with and everything like that. But if my heart could love another person outside of that commitment that I have is okay. There are people who are like that, Leo, okay? Don't judge. <laughs> so the idea of commitment itself is different from you and the person that you're dealing with. And I feel that at this present moment, you're kind of like one foot in and one foot out to a point where, okay, I don't know if I truly want to be staying here, but on the other hand, I'm just kind of like waiting to see what is out there on the horizon for me. In the past, this person is the King of Wands and also the Nine of Swords in that preposition. This is the type of person. It's getting a bit similar with Aries lead, reading, to be honest with you. So you might be dealing with the Aries as well. But <clears throat> this person is on their core, is not somebody who is very secured within themselves. If you're dealing with people who are securely attached, you know, you can feel it. I know how it feels like to be in a relationship with a secured man. But... I feel that with this person, there's like a lot of worries, a lot of doubts, a lot of anxieties about themselves to a point where they're kind of like imposing control over the connection, okay? Controlling doesn't necessarily mean about, no, you cannot dress like that, la 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 la. No, it, it, hasn't, it doesn't have to be like that. It's more about imposing the, their idea of how they should behave in a relationship to you and how you should accept that. Okay, so because of all of those fear, they become, this is the persona or this is the person that I've always been and I'm kind of like quite comfortable with that because at least I could control what the outcome is going to look like or what the result is going to look like and they're imposing it on you and I feel that you were carrying like a lot of burdens when it comes to this connection. You had to fill the space that they don't have. <sighs> a lot of you were in a relationship or a lot of you were in a connection where you needed to help the other person to feel less anxious. But you've always been there for them. Okay, what is it that they're so insecure of their body? Fine, you're the ten of ones. What is it that I could do in order to uh, ensure that they are feeling loved? Okay, they're insecure about what? Um, another third party situation? Okay, what is it that I need to do to ease this 
anxieties that they have inside of their mind. It's not your job to make someone feel like a whole, unless they're your children, okay? Or unless they're your family members, then yeah. But it's not your job, Leo. It's something that they need to find within themselves. Now, in the present moment, you have the five of ones and you also have the seven of swords in our preposition. <clears throat> I feel that at this present moment, you're rebelling. You're starting to realize that, okay, this person in my life is bringing nothing but inner conflict within me. You're trying to look for the light at the end of the tunnel. But again, you're still struggling here and it's okay. It's a process, right? It's not something I can't give you a pill so that you can figure out what's going to happen or what to do next. I can't do that. Okay. Just enjoy this process. And you have the Seven of Swords. I feel that at this present moment, you guys are trying to make them do something by doing little things. We're going to clarify in a moment. But I feel that it kind of works, Leo, especially if you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. Okay. But I feel that this person needed some time to contemplate your absence, the distance that you guys created made them aware or made them realize about the love that they're holding for you. You did something here or you're doing something here. It's either you cut them off or you started to withdraw your energy, etc. But you're not really withdrawing. You're kind of like expecting this person to react on your withdrawal, whatever that may be. We're going to clarify, yeah? I feel that in the future, you're going to make your voice hurt. So the lion is roaring again. I feel that in the future, you guys are going to be able to establish your boundaries. And there is a victory here that you guys are going to be celebrating. Now, in the future, this person is the justice and also the eight of swords in that preposition. Um, I just feel that this person in the future is going to be having a bit of a problem when it comes to grappling with the changes that you're asking for when it comes to this connection, okay? Because, well, it's not a secured person to begin with, and that is the problem. Let's just clarify, yeah? So I want to clarify this five of ones from your side first. <clears throat> yeah, and there's this inner conflict that you're doing. Like, okay, all of these times, I've been trying to work hard. I've been trying to collaborate, compromise for this person in order to make them feel good about themselves. I think some of you were in the mindset of, if I love them enough, if I give them enough, maybe they will then return to me what I've given them. But in reality, you haven't received it, right? You haven't. So you're starting to question, like, where is it? Is it ever going to come? Is all of my fruit, is the fruit of my labor, will I ever be able to harvest it? Or have I actually been wasting my time and my energy in investing in this one? Let's clarify the seven of swords from your side. You, you, I, I usually would clarify them first, but one of the reasons why I want to clarify you is because you did something or you're doing something. So I want to know how they react because you want to see how they react, right? Let's clarify the seven of swords in a preposition. Four of pentacles, you see? You see? Okay, so you've been very withdrawn in the past. This person, I mean. You've been very withdrawn in the past. You have not really been investing in me as much as I have invested in you. And for some reason, I always run back to you. For some reason, the more that you are, the more that this person is being stingy towards you, the more that you're like obliged to do something about it. Yeah. But now you've put a stop to it. Now, you are wanting to make this person to get a taste of their own medicine. So let's see how they react. It's easier to say. I want to clarify that hermit first. Eight of wands in reverse, the three of wands, and also the page of cups in our proposition. 
one of the reason why is because here's the thing leo okay this is what you need to also understand i studied communication so there is this thing called what we try to communicate could be received very differently um, for, from the other person and no matter how much love you're trying to give to this person right because this is what you've always wanting to do hey you're loved look i'm bringing so much love to you i'm bringing so much caring to you let me give it to you have they received the message no it wants in reverse the message has not been received If someone has a core belief, this is also one of the reasons why affirmation doesn't always work. One of the reasons for that is because if you have this really core belief that you are unlovable, no matter how hard you're trying to affirm that I am lovable, I am lovable, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of love, your core belief is like, no, 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 no. It's like telling somebody who's a it's like telling somebody who's struggling and not rich enough and said that hey you know what you actually have the potentials to be rich hey you know what you actually are rich already you just gotta feel it in your sphere you gotta have to manifest it you gotta have to be in this energy to manifest it but you're like no the reality is i'm poor this was what you were doing. Like you can never ever give love to somebody who doesn't even love themselves. And that's why every time you try to love them, what do they do? They isolate. They become stingy. It's not something that they know. Maybe they've never received love from their parents, from, from their childhood, from their past. So whenever you try to love them, your green flags become their red flags. And I have been guilty of that to myself, you know, back in the days where someone actually held me now that I, think, that I think about it, tried to pursue me. I was like, ew, why are you so available? Why are you every morning you gotta, you gotta be at my doorstep and try to bring me breakfast, even though if you don't wanna be here? Like, ew, why, why, why? Your, his green flags become my red flags because that is not something that I used to deal with. This is similar to that situation. Your green flags then become a red flag. Oh, you're too available. Oh, you, it, it becomes annoying. Your love becomes annoying because your green flags become their red flags. Okay? Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. From this person's side. It's easy here to say. But now they want you. Now that you have made them get a taste of their own medicine, now they're very, very in a heavy determinations of wanting to work this out with you, that me and Leo could actually have this, the Ten of Pentacles, a relationship that is functioning for a very long time. So let's clarify the future now. It's easier to say. I want to clarify that six of wands from your side. No, actually, let's start from them now, yeah? Let's clarify the justice from their side in the future. I feel that you will find love someplace else other than this person. I feel that because you've been so busy trying to seek for love for this person um, and you never ever actually got it, in the future you're going to be busy of trying to find love someplace else. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be from another person or you actually moving on to another person or etc. No, it could be you finding love from yourself. It could be you finding love from your support system, right? Or you could be finding love through the acknowledgement or, or the recognition that you're getting from your place of work. But it's a form of love. It's a form of like, ooh, feel good now. You know what I mean? So in the future, I just feel that this person is going to be in heavy pursuit of you. 
but how you're going to be reacting on it is this. Huh, do I really want this anymore? Because now you're in the future, you're going to also already be capable of receiving love from someplace else. And it's enough. And it's much more happier. It's a lot more peaceful. It's a lot more healing. It's a, it's a lot more inspiring. Then that, that's going to lead you to not be so interested in receiving the love that you've always wanted from this person. Let's clarify the six of ones from your side. <clears throat> oh, they're going to be so much in hurt. Honey, clarify the emperor in a preposition. You have been working hard towards something. It could be your career, it could be your time with your family, whatever that may be, right? And you will receive the reward in the future. That again is going to make you very, very content to a point where it's going to question like, do I really want this from this person again? Now that I've gotten the attention that I've always wanted from this person through another source, again, it doesn't have to be another person. Do I see another person? Now, even if there is another person in your life um, here, unless it's an air sign, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. If it's an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you would probably want to be engaging with them, trying to to get more feelings with them. But it's if it's any other signs, here is the new person. I just feel that, okay, you know, I like the attention and I'm going to see where this goes, but I feel that you're just going to be much more focused on other things in your life. Now, how about this person? Eight of Swords, clarified by the Devil, the Three of Swords, and also the Six of Wands in upright position. They're just going to be in pain, hun. But there's something here also about them shifting the blame onto you about the fact that you are hurting them. Leo only cares about themselves. Leo hurt me so, so deeply. See, I was right. I'm so unlovable. Leo doesn't care about me anymore without them even um, contemplating. Why is it that Leo is changing? Like with changes, there is always a reason, right? There is a reason why we no longer use telephone at our houses. I mean, I still have, but I rarely use it. There is a reason why we're no longer, you know, using horse carriages as a form of transportation. And indeed, we use cars nowadays or motorcycles. There's always a reason because it didn't work. Therefore, there needs to be a new innovation. But they're not able to see why did you change? What pushed you to change? Let's clarify. Yeah, sorry, let's pull some advice here for you here, Leo. Knight of Swords, ooh, Tower, and also the Strength Guard in upright position. I feel that there is something here that you would like to do or you would like to say to this person, but you're so afraid that it would destroy the building that was already shaky in the first place. So there's something here that you're still holding on, okay? I like your future... Um, energy but at this present moment again as i said you're still trying to grapple on how to become much more independent how to be much more certain and confident within yourself and etc you have something here that is 
on a shaky foundation that the universe is trying to clear out for you. It could be the relationship, the whole relationship, or it could actually be the dynamic itself. The tower doesn't necessarily mean you have to move on and get away quick like that. No, it differs from people to people. This is general reading, right? But there's something here that you've been afraid of doing because you're afraid that is going to destroy what was already built in an unstable foundation. Maybe you have a bottle up emotions that you haven't really fully said it to this person because you're afraid that you're going to be losing them forever. Or there's an action that you're supposed to be doing towards this person, but you've been afraid of doing that because you're going to lose them forever. Your guide here is saying, Leo, be confident within yourself. Try to think of it from your own perspective. Would you ever, okay, because lion is the king of the jungle, right? Would the king of the jungle ever create an empire or create a castle built on a shaky foundation in the first place? Would you want to live in a building that is a, has a shaky foundation? No. If you wouldn't do it, would the, would the king of the jungle would ever do it? No. Be much more confident in yourself that you could attract things that are better, that you could attract things that are built on a much more better, stable foundation if you're supposed to be with them and if you want to be with them. Make sure that it's eventually going to be built on a much more stable foundation than what is in the now, okay? Okay. <sighs> So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Leo. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye guys. Have a great day. I love you.